This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how does Morph Target create difference mesh work? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a polysphere here loaded in that's been converted to a DynaMesh. And the question is asking about the Create Difference Mesh button. So if I go to the tool palette over here and scroll down to the Morph Target area here, and I just store a Morph Target on this mesh, after you store a morph target, you're gonna have a few of these buttons that are gonna highlight or become active. One of these is called Create Difference Mesh. So what does this button do inside of ZBrush? So this button is going to look at the stored morph target on your model and the current state of your model, and then generate new topology based on the changes between those two versions of the mesh. So as an example of this, with a morph target stored on the sphere here, if I just come through and sculpt now, so I'm just gonna take the standard brush and then just sculpt out something, this, maybe a little swirl thing here. So now I have two versions of this model. So I have this version, which has this geometry, and then if I come over here and click switch on morph target, I have this version. So my original sphere and the sculpted version. Now if I click this create difference mesh, it's gonna look at those two versions. So it's gonna look at this one and look at this one, and then it's going to give me geometry on what has changed. So the part that has changed on this mesh is the surface I just sculpted. So if I click Create Difference Mesh, ZBrush is now going to give me a new tool in the tool palette here, and it's just going to be of that sculptural element. So you can see it's just generated geometry based on the offset of those two meshes. So the original one that I stored and then the one I changed and now I have a new piece of geometry generated from those two. So this is pretty handy for coming through and just creating quick designs and getting geometry out of it. So as an example of this, I'm just gonna undo this. I'm gonna switch to the Play Build Up Brush. I'm gonna go up to the Transform tab here. I'm gonna activate Symmetry. I'm gonna turn on Radial. I'm gonna change my axis to Z and turn off X. And I have Radial Symmetry on my model here. I'm gonna delete this morph target and just store a fresh one. So this is just of the sphere here. Now I'm going to come across the model and just do some sculpting. So let's say I want to make some sort of jewelry or pendant for a character. So just coming through and sculpting on the surface here and smooth this out. Just manipulate it as you see fit. And now I can come here and go to this Create Difference Mesh. So it's going to look at this version of the model and this version of the model and then give me new geometry based on those changes. So now if I click Create Difference Mesh, you can see I have new topology created in the tool palette and select that and now I have that as a new mesh. So then I come through and activate symmetry again on this version of the model here. So going back to that Z symmetry and that radial and I'll come through and clean this up and just sculpt on it as a new subtool. So that is a pretty handy process for going through and just generating new topology quickly based on two morph targets. Now another thing that's really handy for this is taking geometry that may be really dense and single-sided and giving it thickness. So let me undo back to my original sphere here and just delete that morph target now. I'm coming to the side here and I'm just going to select the slice brush. So I'm gonna hold control and shift, go over here and I'm gonna select the slice curve brush. I'm gonna turn on my polyframes and turn off line. And I'm just gonna slice part of the model here. So I'm just gonna slice off this top portion. So say that much. This should give me a new polygroup. Now I can hold control and shift and click this polygroup to isolate it, click it again to hide it. Now I'm gonna go to the geometry panel here, go to modify topology and do a delete hidden. So now I just have this portion of that sphere left. So now let's say I wanna make a pendant design. So I still have the clay build up brush selected and I still have that radial symmetry turned on. So I'm just gonna come in and just make a quick pattern here on the model. And let me just increase my geometry here. So I'm gonna divide this up a little bit more to get a little more resolution. So we're gonna go something around 400,000 polygons there, and then I can just sculpt out this detail. Maybe something like this, use some smooth options through here. So just getting some sort of little design, maybe a pendant pattern again on this. So now let's say I have this, and I wanna now 3D print this out. So I've made something like this on the model, and I wanna print this out. Well, right now, this is just single-sided geometry. But what I can do is I can use this morph target to come through and establish the difference between this version of the mesh and a new position of this model. And this is going to give me a new model that now has thickness. 
So I'm going to position this mesh like so. I'm going to go down to that morph target again. Just open that up. And just hit store morph target. I'm now going to go to the deformation palette here and open this up. I'm going to increase the size of the mesh here. So just clicking and dragging to make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to get the move transpose line, draw it out. And turn off symmetry here temporarily and just move it up a little bit. So now I have this version stored. And if I come back to that morph target area there, and click switch, I have this version. So you can see I have two positions and changes done to this model here. So I have this version and this version. So now that I have these two versions again, I can now click create difference mesh. And this is going to generate the geometry in between those two positions. Clicking create difference mesh is now going to give me a new mesh up here. And as you can see, now I have this version of the pendant and it now has thickness. So the difference mesh has also given me a new polygroup in between there. But now I have this part here with thickness applied. So this create difference mesh is really handy for coming through and just adding thickness to parts too. So if you want to just create something and then have it be watertight for 3D printing, you can just use that as well. And it's really handy in this functionality. So now I have a watertight model that I can now turn into a DynaMesh and continue sculpting on. And it has a front and back side to it. So once again, that is just using the Create Difference Mesh, which is located in the tool palette underneath Morph Target. After you've stored a Morph Target, the button becomes active. And this will allow you to create a new mesh based on the differences between your Morph Target and the current version of your model. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!